wanted to get Stephen Strauss to come to this meeting that we were having in there. And in February, he, he never replied to any of my phone calls. And so in February uh, of uh, 1987, I went to this conference, not on ME, but on chronic viral infections in uh, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, the Center for Disease Control. And I saw Stephen Strauss, and I sat down beside him. And at that m moment, uh, Michael Holmes came up to us and gave us a paper uh, that he just uh, uh, was accepted for publication that day, and it showed that uh, uh, Epstein Barr did not cause uh, uh, what was then called ME. And he didn't reply to uh, Michael Holmes. And Michael Holmes was a little bit astonished, and so he walked away. And nobody, I've never told this story before, but I'm telling it to you as patients because it's important. Stephen Strauss started to swear, violent swearing. He started saying, those fucking shit patients. And he went on like this for two or three minutes. The people in front got up and moved away. He was having a seizure. And when he stopped, which went on, it felt like half an hour, but it probably only went on for two or three minutes. He settled down. I turned to him and I said, Dr. Strauss, I think you've just had a seizure. What kind of seizure is this? Does anyone know? It's a frontal lobe seizure. And I said, please, Go and get an MRI of your brain. Stephen Strauss got up and he was going to hit me. He thought I meant that he was crazy or something. He wasn't aware that he had this seizure. That was in February 1987, and he died, if I recall correctly, in 2007 of an astrocytoma of the brain. He probably, I don't know where it was, but he probably had that astrocytoma in the frontal lobe. And it's very important that all of you, and when you're talking to patients or to yourself, that you don't just say, I've got chronic fatigue, I've got ME. It's important that you have all total body assessment, every organ, certainly your brain, 